Welcome back to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Dave Carger. Our Saturday lineup continues now with a Western comedy starring Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. From 1963, it's Four for Texas. Sinatra and Martin play a pair of rival businessmen in the Old West who wind up in the gambling port of Galveston, Texas, and have to band together to fight off a crooked banker and a deadly outlaw. The film was one of a handful that Frank Sinatra made in the early 60s with his Rat Pack buddies, all of which included Dean Martin. They had made Ocean's Eleven in 1960 and followed it with Sergeant's Three, released in 1962. A year after Four for Texas, they reunited with Sammy Davis Jr. to make the musical Robin and the Seven Hoods. During this period, Frank Sinatra was at the peak of his fame, and he had the clout in Hollywood to make whatever movies he wanted. These Rat Pack films were really just an excuse for Sinatra and his friends to have fun and play around without aspiring or pretending to make anything of high artistic merit. Robert Aldrich, who directed, produced, and co-wrote Four for Texas, later confessed that he did little during production to attempt to control the gang, who seemed to be there purely to have a good time. Rounding out the cast are Anita Ekberg and Ursula Andress, and Charles Bronson also appears as a dangerous bandit who threatens Sinatra and Martin at every turn. Bronson had previously worked with Aldrich in the 1950s in television and on the films Apache and Veracruz, and he would soon go on to star in Aldrich's 1967 classic, The Dirty Dozen. Here from 1963, also featuring cameos from Arthur Godfrey and the Three Stooges, Four for Texas. The year before he made Four for Texas, Robert Aldrich directed and produced one of the biggest hits of his career, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, that camp drama which famously reinvigorated the careers of its stars, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, was a major hit that earned five Oscar nominations. One of those nominations went to Victor Buono for his supporting performance, and Buono teamed up with Aldrich again to play the banker Harvey Burden in Four for Texas. After Baby Jane, Aldrich wanted to make a fun, commercially popular satire of old westerns, but Four for Texas wasn't the hit he hoped for. Its light comedy wasn't quite his style, and he soon returned to the formula that had worked for Baby Jane. His next film, Hush, Hush, Sweet Charlotte, was another psychological thriller that teamed him once again with Betty Davis. Up next, a World War II aviation drama from 1951 starring John Wayne and Robert Ryan. 